Hello viewers. Today in this video we will learn about IPO related to the stock markets. So, what is an IPO in stock market? IPO stands for Initial Public Offering. Initial public offering can be defined as the process in which a private company or corporation can become public, by selling a portion of its stake to the investors. An IPO is generally initiated to infuse the new equity capital to the firm, to facilitate easy trading of the existing assets, to raise capital for the future or to monetize the investments made by existing stakeholders. The institutional investors, high net worth individuals and the public can access the details of the first sale of shares in the prospectus. The prospectus is a lengthy document that lists the details of the proposed offerings. Once the IPO is done, the shares of the firm are listed and can be traded freely in the open market. The stock exchange imposes a minimum free float on the shares both in absolute terms and as a ratio of the total share capital. Now, we will discuss different types of IPO. There are two common types of IPO. First is fixed price offering. Fixed price IPO can be referred to as the issue price that some companies set for the initial sale of their shares. The investors come to know about the price of the stocks that the company decides to make public. The demand for the stocks in the market can be known once the issue is closed. If the investors partake in this IPO, they must ensure that they pay the full price of the shares when making the application. Next and the most popular is book building offering. In the case of book building, the company initiating an IPO offers a 20% price band on the stocks to the investors. Interested investors bid on the shares before the final price is decided. Here, the investors need to specify the number of shares they intend to buy and the amount they are willing to pay per share. The lowest share price is referred to as floor price and the highest stock price is known as cap price. The ultimate decision regarding the price of the shares is determined by investors' bids. Now, let's see the benefits of investing in an IPO. First, we have increased recognition. When weighing the advantages and cons of an IPO, this good factor comes out on top. It assists management in gaining more reputation and credibility by becoming a trustworthy organization. Companies that are publicly traded are typically more well-known than their private competitors. In addition, a successful process attracts media attention in the financial sector. Next, we have diversification opportunity. When a corporation becomes public, its shares are traded on an exchange amongst investors. This increases investor diversity because no single investor owns a majority of the company's outstanding stock. There are a few factors an investor would have to consider before starting to invest in an IPO. The IPO transaction process necessitates the investment of capital in an underwriter, an investment bank, and an advertiser to ensure that everything runs well. Next, we have the factor of extra pressure. In the midst of market turmoil, publicly traded firms are under enormous pressure to keep their stock values high. Executives may be unable to make hazardous decisions if the stock price suffers as a result. This is not all, we will cover more topics about the IPOs in our next video. You can contact us from the details mentioned on the screen via a call, WhatsApp, or email. Thank you for listening the video to the end. Please do like, share, and subscribe the video for the latest updates in the market.